Hey guys, welcome to King Kid. Somebody call for the king. Hey guys. So today we're making something very simple for you guys. We're gonna do something that we haven't done before on the channel. We're gonna do some alu roti, and we're gonna do some shatine, or AKA katahar, and also curry stew. So get ready for these recipes, they're gonna be great. Here we have some potatoes that we already boiled, so they're soft and ready to, to season for the alu roti. And check out our shatine that we got here. All right guys, so check it out. Here's some of the stuff that we're gonna blend together. We're gonna make some fresh seasoning for this shatine. All right guys, about to get the shatine started. We're gonna be using this oil for it. The Chosen Foods Avocado Oil. And remember, this is one of the best avocado oils you can buy because a lot of the other avocado oils on the market are completely not avocado oil or mixed with some other bad oils. So just remember, this is the brand to go with. Making our curry mix for the shatine now using the curry herb, curry powder. And also a little bit of the amchur masala. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we, you know, we average everything. Put some water. Put it in the shatine. Yeah. It's a secret. Alright guys. You heard that guys? <laughs> well that's all holy. Yeah. yeah. Everybody have their own way. Mm -hmm. So you can see the amount of avocado oil we put in here. So we are making quite a bit of shatine, so anyways, this is a healthy oil, so can't really complain. And also we're going in with some saffron, turmeric. Mm -hmm. So we got three things in here. Curry powder, I'm sure masala, and turmeric. We just mix that up with some water, and we have our own little taste. Mm -hmm. Going in with some of our seasoning, pimentos, onion, the peppers, and some of our green seasoning. Oh, it's nice and hot. Wow. Check out all those awesome colors, guys. Got it on a nice simmer here. Been going for a couple minutes. So now we're gonna go in with our curry powder mix. Fine guys. Check it out. I think it's all good to go. Alright, let's season it up. Going in with some of this green seasoning mix we freshly made, some Himalayan pink salt, and going in with some cumin powder or jeera. I'm gonna put all this in here and give it a good mix. Guys, this is the first time the CS used this much oil. <laughs> but we need it for the shut time. It's good oil. Yeah. Plus it's good oil, so don't worry about it too much. Alright, going in with the shut time now guys. And by the way, this is the steam shut time that we got in the in those packs. In case any of you were wondering. It was previously frozen, so we had to thaw it out for a bit. But yeah, as you can see, we're using a lot of it today. That's why there's so much curry in there. We want to put some salt on top. And of course, now we're going to coat every single piece of curry. Oh, 
All right, after we got it all stirred up, we're gonna go ahead and cover it for a while. I'll let it steam up. Adding some water in here now. You wanna just put it on some water, and then add it to the water. Okay. Just some of this on top. Add some green seasoning on top there. We need to flavor it up. So guys, first we let it steam up by itself for about five minutes and then we add a couple bowls of water just to help it help it cook down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we got our chicken all cleaned up here. This is one chicken. So we're about to season it up. Going in with some of our fresh green seasoning. Mm -hmm. Our Worcestershire sauce. Some of our all purpose seasoning. What brand is that one? All purpose marinade. Mm -hmm. Some of the gluten free poison sauce. These are some staples in all of our dishes, guys. So make sure if you're going to cook like us, you got to get these seasonings. And guess what? Go into it with some ginger and garlic paste. This is some good stuff. Let me see that bottle when you're done. If I can show them. Cut the front one. Yeah. Check it out, guys. The garlic and ginger cooking paste. It is halal. Some pink salt. And a little bit of soy sauce. Just a dash. And that's it guys. Stir it all up. And you'll see what's next. It is curry stew. Adding some fresh pimento peppers on top and also some hot peppers. Just a little bit. Just an extra little kick of flavor. Mm -hmm. Check out how the shutdown's looking, guys. It's coming along, slowly but surely. The water's still not drying down yet. It's almost there. So once it dries down, we're gonna have to cook it. Yeah. No. Okay. okay. So I just made a little bit of the chicken small. Uh-huh. So that would be good for us. Okay. We just went in with some of the curry her curry powder. We got a pot going here. All well, should be hot. So we're going in with some of our famous coconut sugar. Got our curry powder here, mixed with some water. Now this is the technique we need to see how to make this curry stew. Simmer on it going. We'll check back on it in just a second. This is the texture we want, guys. We're about to throw in our chicken now. Get this going.
Please let us know if you try this recipe, guys. I'm sure it's gonna come out fantastic. Especially if you requested this meal tonight. I'm gonna cover it up and let it cook. All right, guys. We're gonna start making the alu roti. I'm going in with some Aunt Jemima all-purpose flour. Self-rising, right? Yeah. Um, I guess we'll be happy. Yeah. Some coconut sugar. No reason to add extra salt to these guys. Very simple. Sugar and flour. And coconut sugar is the best sugar you can use. It's so new that they can pour it already. By the way, we're adding some warm water in here to knead it up. And I keep adding water until it starts to come together little by little. Dry flour on top. Just Burning out some of that water on the shutdown now. We'll let it boil in that water for a good 20 minutes or so. Oh. All right, all the water dried up mostly. So now we're going with our coconut milk. Mm -hmm. The shimoti. Uh -huh. Coconut cream in the, in the coconut milk for the next 20 minutes or so. It smells nice, really good. Got the shut pine covered up now. Let me cut. And this is how our curry stew is looking. About 15 minutes in. Chicken's looking pretty cooked already. Yeah, it's almost finished. Okay, can I have some sauce? Nice. So we didn't have to add any extra water? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's so small. Yeah, so we're gonna keep the cover off now, let some of this water boil down, and we should be all set. All right, guys, the curry stew is all done. We just let the, some of the water boil out a little bit. And we left this much in there, just enough for some sauce. Can't wait to try this out. Well, check it out, about another 20 minutes cooking with the coconut milk. It is all done. You can stop the texture you wanted here. Beautiful. All right, guys, we got it pretty nice and flat now. We're going up the tawa, the hot tawa now. And here we go. Side of it now. Wow, cooking pretty fast, huh? And here's another alley roti here, puffing up perfectly. Wow, guys, wait till we rip into this. We don't mess around around here. Wow, look Is at that, that crispy? color. Yeah, I like a cripsy one. Cripsy, guys. C-R-I-P-S-Y. <laughs> cripsy. This is a nice cripsy alley. alley. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that no. one's all yours. No, all good. <laughs> all good. All right, come on, do a bam, do a bam. Bam! 
Nice. All right, guys, check out our spreads real quick. I know it's not much, but we do have a couple of good dishes on the menu tonight. We got our kataher right here, or you know, shatai. And our curry stew chicken. Check it out. And also, our alu roti, oh my God. Look at this, guys. All right, let's eat. Check out a little quick lime pepper sauce we did here with some onions, peppers, and salt. Very simple, but very tasty. All right, guys, time for my taste test. Check out my meal. Shatayan, curry stew, salad, and aloe roti. Let's dig in. I'm gonna take some of this aloe roti. Going to this curry stew, of course, since I was craving that. Get some sauce. Mmm. Yes, guys. This is it. You know when you crave something and it hits that spot? This is it. Trust me. This hit the spot, I'm not even lying. I can't lie, I won't lie. Because this curry stew, oh my God. Thank you to my wonderful mother-in-law for satisfying my cravings today. Going into this cup of her now. Oh my God. First off, very soft. Check it out. Wow. I caught the hers. Juicy. It just like melts in your mouth. It's so good. And there's aloe roti on top of everything. Guys, this meal was perfect. All right guys, so I just wanna thank you for watching this little quick video on how to make the curry stew chicken, the aloe roti, and shut down. You guys have never seen how to make these things on my channel yet, so trust me, this is a very good recipe and a very good way to make it. So, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Can't forget my little baby girl here. That's a little baby girl. That's daddy's little girl.